what's up guys welcome to another video and uh, in this tutorial i want to show you how to georeference a raster image inside a civil 3d application so the images that i want to show or that we're going to georeference today so this is the actually the raster image and uh, it actually contains a parcel of land and uh, we're going to georeference this particular uh, parcel of land using the coordinates so what I did, I just typed in the uh, boundary beacons, the four of them. So ML1 to ML4 and inside uh, an Excel. So if I just, let me just open up the, the coordinates. So these are the coordinates. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import these coordinates inside uh, Civil 3D. And I'm going to uh, digitize or di digitize the uh, the parcel boundary, and then I'm going to uh, actually use the uh, digitized boundary to align the image inside the Civil 3D. So we are not. It's not possible actually to open uh, uh, this Excel inside a Civil 3D. We have to convert it to a CSV file. So in order to convert this to CSV file, I'm going to click on the files and then go to save us. And then uh, I'm going to click on the, to navigate to where I want to store the file. The name I'm going to leave it as it is. And then under save us type or the file type, I'm going to select uh, comma delimited CSV, that one, and then click save. So it's going to open up the same Excel, but uh, as a CSV. So I'm going to convert this uh, CSV file to a format that uh, is desirable uh, by the Civil 3D application. So uh, the format that I'm going to use is uh, a, a point, uh, nothing, ST, elevation, and then a point name or a description. So let's say uh, this is uh, column for elevation, like so. And then the next one is description, like that. So if I expand these two columns like that. So here, uh, we are not much interested with the elevation. So I'm going to give uh, all the point the elevation of 0. And then the description, I'm going to cut, control X to cut, and then paste it here. And then the point name, change this one to point uh, or point number. So point number, we're going to insert one, two, three, four, like so. So another thing uh, that we need to do is to remove the heading. I'm going to select the entire row and uh, uh, delete uh, if you leave the headings uh, the file is going to be rejected by the civil 3d and another thing before you import inside the civil 3d you need to close down the csv file like so and then go to civil 3d and then another thing so before we import these uh, points you also need to do some unit unit test uh, setting so in order to set your units, just type in uh, units and then hit enter. Uh, so I'm going to do the necessary changes. And the length type, uh, or the type is decimal. Uh, angle type, I'm going to leave it uh, as it is, precisions. You can do the changes uh, as you desire. So the only thing that I'm going to change is the precision. And I'm going to check the clockwise. And uh, so units, I'm going to leave it in as meters. And uh, direction, I'm going to change that to north azimuth. So click OK and uh, save. So in order to import uh, the points that we've just uh, formatted, so under the points, uh, click the points tab and then scroll down to import stroke export and then click choose import so the format that uh, we did is uh, we said point 
uh, nothing easting uh, z stand for elevation then d stand for description let's select that make sure that it is it is highlighted and then uh, on your extreme uh, top right there is this add file uh, green icon click on it and then navigate to where you you've stored your uh, coordinates or your csv file so uh, make sure that the uh, csv file is highlighted and then click op uh, open so if you see this uh, green check uh, mark it means that your points are okay so click ok so and then uh, ze like so and then you're going to see your points like that so in order to name these points i'm going to uh, select one and then right click uh, select similar go to properties go to home uh, properties and then uh, point labels i'm going to i'm going to do description only like so and then control s to save so we say that uh, we're going to actually uh, draw the uh, line line boundary of this uh, particular parcel so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to select the the polyline so this is the polyline click on it and then start digitizing from uh, we can actually use uh, uh, let me choose that particular line again so we're going to select the first point the second point go to the third point third point and then and then uh, right click uh, to close so click on close so now we have uh, the drawing or uh, the line work that we need uh, for georeferencing our image so the next step is to import the uh, raster image or the survey plan so before you import the survey plan we need to note a few things number one you need to uh, take note of the scale so this is an insert so the main scale is 2500 and uh, so since we are going to use uh, this the the insert is the one that we are going to actually uh, georeference uh, we are going to use the insert scale uh, one is to 250 so inside the civil 3d under the insert tab uh, select raster image ref reference and then navigate to the uh, raster or the survey plan where we, you stored your survey plan and then uh, select on it and then click open so it's going to display this attach image uh, window and uh, one thing that you need to do uh, that i normally do is um, i'm going to specify uh, i'm going to specify the scale here rather than going to specify it on the screen uh, so all these other ones i can leave it as uh, default but on this one i'm going to change that to 250 for the scale because you saw that the insert scale is uh, one is to 250 so we are not going to insert one is to two one is to 250 we are going to only insert 250 and then click ok and i'm going to uh, uh, specify the insertion point anywhere so uh, the next step is to uh, select the image and then after we selected the image uh, type the command align align like so and then hit enter so it's going to tell you to specify the first point and uh, the first point means that uh, the points for the raster because it is the one that we are uh, we want to reference so i'm going to use this uh this point ml4 and uh, this one ml2 
so uh, zoom su zoom in sufficiently to ml4 and then click on the center of that uh, circle and uh, take your cursor to the corresponding uh, point ml4 of your drawing click on it so the civil 3 is now uh, demanding that to specify the second point you can only uh, use two points for aligning the image so i'm going to use uh, ml2 and for proper di distribution actually use the opposite side so click on the uh, corresponding uh, ml2 of your drawing and then hit enter since we have now two points it is telling you to uh, scale object based on alignment points so uh, select yes now uh, you can see that uh, our image have, uh, has actually moved over to our drawing and uh, it seems that our drawing has disappeared but uh, that's not the case it's just that uh, the image is over the drawing so what we need to do uh, select the raster image or the, the survey plan and then right click on it and uh, display order send the raster image at the back so send it at the back of the drawing now you can see that uh, the you can see now we have our drawings back so let me change the color so that uh, can be able to see it uh, clearly let me change that to something like uh, green yes green is okay so another thing that we need to do you can see that uh, the the point uh, this point here So it me it seems that uh, our image is actually uh, aligned uh, somehow properly, and uh, it's not perfect. But uh, I think it's because of the printing process and uh, the image actually when it's, it was being scanned uh, for some reason maybe it it stretched, but. Uh, for rotating and uh, scaling uh, let's do it uh, on another video uh, so for this tutorial that's how you can use align method to actually uh, georeference your image uh, see you in the next tutorial